Hello YouTube. Today we're out with two of my favourite camera phones, the Vivo X100 Pro and the Oppo Find X7 Ultra. We're going to be comparing the photo and video performance of each of them to see which one does better. We'll start with video, so let's get into it. Okay, starting with the front facing cameras. Um, Vivo has just got an update, so the global version on FunTouch OS now records up to 4K60. Uh, we are recording in 4K30, which is just what I prefer, and it's the same on the Oppo Find X7 Ultra. The big difference between these two front-facing cameras is that the Find X7 Ultra has autofocus, whereas the Vivo doesn't. So, if I get up close to the camera like I just did, or further away, I should look a little bit sharper on the Oppo Find X7 Ultra. You also get a bit of control <laughs> with how zoomed in you are. Um, although I don't seem to be able to do that while recording on the Vivo X100 Pro. It just seems to stay at whatever I chose when it was at the widest. We're using the inbuilt microphone and I'm next to a busy motorway, so how are they doing with the noise reduction? It is a little bit of a windy day, but it's not too bad right now. So yeah, let me know how they sound. Okay, this is just a quick comparison of stabilization. I'm walking along with the 0.6X ultra wide on both. Now I've got a bit of a jog on. And we'll switch to the main camera on both and do the same thing. This is walking at normal speed. And now this is a bit of a jog on. Finally, we'll do the telephotos. They're different on each. So we got 3X on the Oppo and we've got 4.3X on the Vivo. Here's walking along. And here's a bit of a jog. And finally, 6X on the Oppo. Still at 4.3x on the Vivo. Let's see how these do. Now I have a bit of a jog. All right. Okay, this is a test of the video zoom capabilities. We're starting on the ultra wide on both. You can see the oppo is a little bit wider, but not a huge amount. Move into the main lens. Now the 2X, which is a digital crop of the main sensor on both phones. Our 3X, which is our first periscope zoom on the Oppo. 4.3X on the Vivo. And finally, 6X on the Oppo. Let's take it all the way to the limit. So we can go to 18x on the Oppo and 10x on the Vivo. They both look pretty soft and shaky on the phone screen, but we do know that... Sorry, I'll wait for Amazon to go by. Yeah, we do know that the Vivo does a lot of sharpening after the fact, so we'll have to wait and see how that looks on the computer. Okay, this is cinematic portrait mode on the Vivo X100 Pro and just portrait blur on the Oppo Find X7 Ultra. I've got both set to f2.8 and neither have a filter on or anything like that. But I can see that the Oppo looks a lot blurrier in the preview, so I'm going to increase it on the Vivo and see what happens. Can I do it while we're recording? That's taking photos. <laughs> No, I'll stop recording. Okay, that's maximum blur strength on both. Again, the Oppo looks a lot blurrier, but we'll see how they look in the final rendered files. This is how it does with my hand cut out. Looks pretty decent in the preview. Okay, now this is regular video mode without the cinematic blur on the main camera of each. How well does it keep me in focus? I'll move out the frame and come back. Let's 
see. You let me know, I've gone all small. Right, I have no idea what my framing's like, but this is cinematic portrait on both phones. Let's see how it does as I move about. Am I in the shot? Who knows, I'll go back a bit. There you go. Okay, quick macro test with this little guy. See how smoothly each one transitions to and from the close focus and distance. Looks pretty good. Now let's try it with the 3X of the Oppo and the 4.3X of the Vivo. Hard to get these lined up. Obviously we're a lot closer with the Vivo. It seems to be struggling with the focus. It's not doing too bad. Alright, here's how the front facing cameras look at night time. Not in the darkest area, got some pretty bright lights above me. But I'll move somewhere darker so you get a better idea. It's a bit of a horrible evening. Uh, keeps threatening to rain, so hopefully we don't get any raindrops on the lenses. But yeah, let's see how we do. Okay, this is the ultra wide on both phones. Moving over to the main lens. I'll walk a bit so you can see the stabilization. This is 2X on both. A lot of lens flares. Vivo's looking a bit brighter as usual. Hope you can hear me, it's very loud here. Now this is the 3X on the Oppo, 4.3X on the Vivo. I'll walk along. A 6x on the Oppo, 4.3x on the Vivo. And if we walk along, here's how that looks. Of course, at night, it's the 1X lenses with the 1X main sensors that are going to look by far the best. So you probably want to stick to them in reality. Okay, starting with the ultra wide on both. Walking along at a leisurely pace. It's pretty well lit here, so the results shouldn't be too bad. This is the main camera on both. Saw some hiccups with the Vivo just then, but maybe it'll be smoothed out in the post-processing. This is 2x zoom on both. Three x on the Oppo. Four point three x on the Vivo. And finally, six x on the Oppo and 4.3x on the Vivo. Looks like the Oppo might be raining in the highlights a bit better. If I walk along, let's see how the stabilization does. It does look better on the Vivo, but that makes sense with a shorter zoom. If I switch back to the 3x, it should be a bit more comparable. <laughs> I 
again. Back to the main sensors. See how the focus transitions at night. Looks pretty smooth to me. All right, this is a test in almost total darkness. It's an extremely dark, dark street. There are some street lights. There's one here, so that's nice. But uh, yeah, if you fancy yourself the next Batman and you want to vlog your experience in the dark, this is the kind of quality you can expect from the selfie cameras at 4K30. Moving on to the rear cameras. This is the ultra wide in extreme darkness. Obviously can't see much, but if we switch to the one inch main sensors, things should start to look a bit better. How does the stabilization look? Let's go to the 3X on the Oppo and the 4.3X on the Vivo. The Oppo is looking a lot better from what I can see on the phone screens but we'll see what they look like when we get on the big screen and finally here's the 6x which i think probably has a smaller sensor than the one on the vivo yeah it's looking pretty dark back to the 3x and back to the main on both. So let's look at some photos. First we've got a close-up shot on the main camera of each phone. These aren't in portrait mode, this is just the natural bokeh from the one inch sensor which is pretty cool to see. Right off the bat you can see that the Oppo is a bit warmer and less contrasty than the Vivo. Um, the Oppo was shot in its standard picture profile, whereas the Vivo was in Zeiss natural colors. I think the Oppo image is a bit more true to life. It's the start of spring, so the grass is a bit greener, and it looks quite dark on the Vivo. But otherwise, quite similar shots. If we zoom in, you can see a very, similar level of detail I'd say. Okay these are a little bit harder to compare because we're on 4.3x on the Vivo whereas we've got 3x and 6x to compare with the Oppo. I prefer to compare the optical lenses rather than digital crops because that's what I tend to shoot with. Both got very good detail um, but Vivo's sharper. Like you can see the texture on these little googly eyes. You've got a nice creamier bokeh from the compression on the Vivo but you still get a good amount of bokeh on the 3x lens of the Oppo. Now this is the 6x lens versus the 4.3x. Uh, I messed up the framing a little bit here, I should have been lower. It's much brighter, we're almost blowing out some highlights, we are blowing out highlights on the on the tip here but both have good levels of detail both focus quite close, but I do prefer the 4.3x lens of the Vivo over the 6x lens of the Oppo in most cases. Okay, this is the main lens on both phones. You can see that the contrastier Vivo image has kind of brought out the clouds a bit more, and I quite like that. So I'd say that's probably my preferred image. The The Oppo image, it doesn't look washed out exactly, but it it's kind of a bit flatter and less less interesting. However, I feel like the brickwork looks more true to life on the Oppo. If we zoom in and look at the details, the Vivo is very slightly sharper, but there's not a lot in it. They're very similar images. Now this is the 2X digital crop on both. Vivo is definitely a lot sharper on the brickwork. Is it too much sharpening? That depends on your tastes, but there's definitely more detail. Yeah, there's more detail across the board. Oppo's verging on the kind of oil painting effect when you pixel peep. 
But at a glance, they're very similar. I'd say the Vivo just about takes it with the 2X. Now this is 3X optical lens versus 4.3X optical lens. Got quite a difference in color rendition. Oppo's brought out the reds a bit more, whereas Vivo's kind of gone for more of a greenish tint. Vivo is definitely sharper when you zoom in on the details. Now this is 6X versus the 4.3X. Look at this trim on the roof. You can see all the little speckling, but you can't, well, you can see it on the Oppo, but it's very soft on the Oppo. So I'd say Vivo's got better detail and actually more realistic colors as well on this one. Now this is 10X on both, so both digital crops. Vivo's doing a bigger digital crop. Yep, yeah, I'd say Vivo's sharper across the board. Colors, I'd probably give it to the Oppo actually. Vivo's a little bit washed out, it's not that light in real life. Okay, some daffodil shots now. These are on the main lens. The framing isn't exactly perfect but should be enough to give you an idea. The Vivo's again, quite a lot more contrasty, especially if you look at the church in the back, it's very dark. So the uh, the bottom of the leaves here, but I personally think it looks a bit better. In terms of detail, there's not a lot in it. Both have handled the colors quite well, although slightly differently. Yeah, a bit of a toss up. Okay, so this is the 3X lens on the Oppo, 4.3X on the Vivo. Quite a difference in colour again. Like, look how dark the church is in the back for the Vivo. I'd say the Oppo's got the more realistic colours here. There's a tiny bit more detail on the Vivo. Like, you can see these specks of pollen here, whereas they're just blurry on the Oppo. Okay, now some awful selfies. I think I'm having a stroke in the Oppo photo where one of my eyes is closing, <laughs> but whatever. Um, straight away, my face is a little warmer on the Oppo, whereas I, I look a little more pale on the Vivo. Unfortunately, uh, the Vivo I think is mirrored and also messed up the watermark, which is quite funny. I think the Oppo might be very slightly sharper. Both have done a really good job with the cutout. I feel like there's a slower roll off of the um, blur effect. Obviously it's not as blurry in general, but it seems to be more of a uniform blur on the Oppo. Either way, very good results. Okay, now we've got two selfies without portrait mode on. At a glance, Vivo's softening the light on my face is more flattering, whereas I've got like darker bags under my eyes on the Oppo. And um, my facial hair looks a lot sharper. Let's go in and take a look. Yeah, tons more detail on the Oppo some AI weirdness going on with my with my facial hair on the Vivo. Yeah, yeah, look at all the, you can see the tiny blonde hairs on my cheek on the Oppo and all, all the detail in my skin, whereas it's kind of been smoothed out in some way on the Vivo. So yeah, the Vivo I prefer as a selfie because it makes me look better but the Oppo's a better photo by far. Ultra wide shot of the church now. Quite a huge difference in color rendition here. Definitely got some cooler tones in the sky on the Oppo, which I think looks quite nice. And more vibrant greens. The Vivo's got pretty flat, dull looking grass and mostly black in the sky. Definitely better grass detail on the Oppo. This bush is sharper as well. I'd say Oppo's got the better shot from the ultra wide here. Brickwork is not that dark in real life, so it has, maybe the sharpening has affected that. So it's slightly off, but the grass looks more like how the grass looked when this was shot. All right, two 10X shots. Much warmer colors on the Oppo, much cooler colors on the Vivo. Quite hard to say I went on it on this one. Vivo's sharper on the brickwork. Yeah, and these little, I don't know what you call them, gargoyle type things don't look great on either, so you're cool.
I definitely think the window looks nicer. Yeah, the window's sharper and nicer on the Vivo. Another two 10x shots here. This is quite an interesting one. This, this is a little crocheted bat thing hanging from a lamppost. It's heavily backlit and it was moving quite fast. It was blowing in the wind. So a challenging shot, but you can clearly see already that Vivo has captured more details in the dark areas. Yeah, it's a pretty night and day difference here. Like you've got some nice texture detail on the wings as well as around the body, whereas the Oppo's very underexposed and a bit grainy. Now these were both shot on the main lens in portrait mode. Vivo's been a bit more aggressive with the portrait effect. We've got some nice bokeh balls of the light coming through the trees here. I really like that, that looks good. It's a darker, moodier shot on the Vivo as usual, whereas it's a bit flatter on the Oppo. Better texture detail here on the Oppo of this paint. Yeah, both good shots, down to personal preference. I like the moodier shot of the Vivo myself. These are both on the main lens, not in portrait mode. This is just the natural bokeh of the large sensor. A lot more contrast on the Vivo, and that comes out in the sky. The sky looks a little more dramatic. Both really nice shots. I actually think the Oppo looks a little more detailed. Now onto the main sensor of both. Vivo's a bit sharper and contrastier, as usual. Yeah, I think the sharpness and the contrast just makes it look more detailed overall. A little bit of a shift towards the green tones on the Vivo. It's a bit more magenta on the Oppo. But the Vivo looks more like nighttime, and I feel like that's what the scene looked like a little bit more. 2x on both. Vivo's reined in the highlights a lot more on the John Lewis sign up there. Looks a lot sharper on these beams as well. A lot more detailed at 2x. See the wagon on the sign? That's completely mushed on the Oppo. 4.3x on the Vivo versus 3x on the Oppo. Both nice shots much darker image from the Vivo and a bit of a sharper one, I believe. Although there's not a lot in it. Better highlight retention on the Vivo. Sharper signs. Yeah, much better highlight retention on these LED stick sign things. Now this is 6X on the Oppo, sticking with the same 4.3X image on the Vivo. Oppo's a bit softer across the board and less contrasty. I think Vivo wins. I, I'm not a massive fan of the 6X on the Oppo, especially at night. This is 10X on both. It's looking a little glary on the Vivo. Maybe well, it's possible some rain hit the lens or something, but I don't think it did. Yeah, neither of these are very good shots. The Oppo's too dark. The Vivo is too light. There's no detail in these people. Vivo is a bit sharper, especially if you look at the sign. But yeah, they both kind of blew it here. <laughs> I like this shot. This is the 3X on the Oppo versus the 4.3X on the Vivo. Vivo is much cooler. You can especially see it down here where it's very warm and yellowy on the Oppo. It's kind of cool and greeny on the Vivo. Sharper details on the Vivo, but not by a huge margin. Both pretty nice, but I like the I like the darker contrast of the Vivo for this shot. But with a bit of image editing, I could probably get the Oppo to look the same. Now, when I was trying to take portrait shots at night, the Oppo struggled so bad. I just kept getting motion blur all the time, as you can see here. Um, and that happened again and again. Let's see if I got a better example. Uh, again, blurry on the Oppo. Basically, the selfie camera on the Oppo struggles at night. Um, it does its best to try and bring back some detail, but it, it looks crazy soft and blurry. Um, whereas the Vivo doesn't. Vivo is pretty good.
This is portrait mode on the main camera of each with this mannequin in the window, so quite well lit. Vivo's gone a bit more magenta, Oppo's gone a bit more green. A lot more detail on the texture of his jacket on the Oppo. Both have done a good job with the portrait cutout, but the Vivo's got a cleaner line on his face. And this dress is much brighter on the Vivo, although it looks more natural on the Oppo. Okay, now same thing, but with the 4.3x on the Vivo and the 3x on the Oppo. Again, a cleaner line for the cutout on the Vivo. Something very weird happening with the reflection of the John Lewis sign on the Oppo. Sharper, sharper texture details on the Vivo. And a very nice kind of creamy bokeh effect in the background. So yeah, I'd say Oppo did better on the main lens and Vivo did better on the telephoto. These two shots are from the main lens. Yeah, Oppo again warmer, Vivo colder, as we've seen over and over. I think Vivo's done too much sharpening and, oh yeah, it's kind of overexposing the ground a little bit here. But it does look sharper overall, as usual, especially when you can see text and things like that. Okay, this is the 6X on the Oppo and the 4.3X on the Vivo. You can see it's a much cleaner image from the 4.3X of the Vivo. Nice crisp lines on the cars, whereas the Oppo is very grainy, noisy, and lots of artifacting. Yeah, both nice at a glance, but the Vivo has definitely captured the details there. So this is from the main lens. It's taken on that extremely dark street where I did the last video test that you saw. I like the cooler tones of the Vivo here. I think that looks more like it looked in real life. They, they're the white LED street lights, so they do give off a cool tone and uh, Oppo's warmed everything up. Not much of a difference in the detail over here. Definitely sharper on this wall. But very comparable images, not a lot in it. And this is the 6X on the Oppo and the 4.3X on the Vivo. And yeah, Vivo's way sharper. Not a lot else to say. The Oppo's just kind of grainy at 6X in the dark. Okay, so there we have it. Two very comparable phones, in my opinion. I think the Vivo has the edge in image processing a lot of the time but the Oppo has better hardware and the selfie camera is usually a lot better. Until it gets dark, then it's not so good. But you've seen the results, so let me know who you think did better in the comments. And if you like this kind of thing, then hit subscribe because there's loads more on the way and I'll see you in the next one. Doodles.